We'll go back into WKYT News. As we move closer and closer to Election Day, it's a good time to reflect on the history and the future of voting rights in this country. The Martin School of Public Policy and Administration is marking the 50th anniversary of the signing of the Voting Rights Act of 1965 with a stellar lineup of speakers at a free symposium on the University of Kentucky campus. And we're delighted to be joined by Murrow Hackbart. He's the interim director of the Martin School. Thank you very much for coming in. We appreciate Pleased to be here. Uh, why is it important to, to uh, consider the Voting Rights Act, and, and why is uh, the Martin School taking this uh, position? Well, the Martin School has a focus on public policy issues, and this year, well, in, we selected our topic. We thought it was a, just a great time to go back and think about voting rights, as a, in, both in terms of a historical perspective, as well as more recent issues which have also impacted the right to vote as the title of the conference is in, indicated to be the foundation of a democracy. And certainly voting rights are really critical to uh, a democracy. And certainly it's also important that voters actually take advantage of their voting rights. So both of those dimensions will be discussed, both historically and also in terms of some contemporary issues in, in some other states. This also will be the inaugural Wendell H. Ford lecture. Tell us more about that lecture ser series and the Martin School's ties to Senator Ford. I'd be pleased to. Uh, senator Ford has been very much involved with the Martin School, both when he was still a senator, as well as after he completed his tour in four terms as a U.S. Uh, senator. Uh, senator Ford has also always had a commitment to public service and tried to encourage students and citizens to become involved in public service in a variety of ways, whether it serve on councils at their schools, uh, participating in, in community activities, or basically seeking elected office. And the Martin School has a strong focus on public policy, both in terms of issues that are being considered nationwide and have significant impact on the future of the economy and the future of the nation. And our students basically have a co many conversations, discussion of policy issues. We also feel it's important that the Martin School become engaged with the community particularly when we're dealing with major national public policy issues. We feel that it's part of an educational process for the community. So the, some of the symposium, like the one on voting rights, provides an opportunity for members of the community to come to campus, along with the students from the campus, to discuss these issues and hear from national experts. A great university simply needs to have these kinds of conversations. And the Martin School, because of its focus on public policy, feels that it's the organization that can take a leadership role in bringing these issues to campus, bringing in speakers, and also encouraging citizens from the community and state to participate as well. All right, the event is coming up on Tuesday, October 13th. It'll be from 1 until 5 and from 7 until 9 at the Singletary Center for the Arts, uh, the recital hall. There are lots of uh, interesting discussions and uh, the talk about our future. You're right, and not enough uh, Americans take right. advantage of the, uh, of the right to vote. So thank you for coming. Appreciate it very thank much. Thank you. I appreciate the chance to be here.